Today we're going to cover a tug of war between our top favorite instrument cluster displays for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. If you have been following our channel for a while, we have reviewed over 60 different instrument cluster displays and we have narrowed it down to top three units that are fixed mount and top two units that are portable. And we're going to talk about the good, the bad, who each of this is for and everything you need to know about this displays. If this is your first time joining the channel, welcome. My name is Shiva Sapkoda. I make videos on modifying your Tesla, accessorizing the Tesla and showing you the latest and greatest Tesla products out there in the market. Put it through my detailed extreme testing of the product, share my likes, dislikes, show you step-by-step -step detailed installation guide. So if you watch one of our video, you will see what type of work that we do in the channel. With that, we would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get started. To make this more of a seamless experience for you all, we're gonna put timestamp in the video so you can jump through different products. And then also in the description below, you are gonna see the product link, the discount code, as well as a detailed step-by-step -step installation guide for each of these products. Let's talk about the fixed mounted system, and we're gonna move on to the portable unit. If somebody was to ask me, what is the overall best value instrument cluster display that you can get in the market today? I would probably refer them to the F88 system from Test Studio. So what makes this a great value unit? First of all, it is the least expensive option out of all the three ones that we're gonna show you the fixed mounted system. So that already gives you a little bit of a competitive edge with this. Another thing, this looks very OEM if you put it on the steering wheel panel versus putting it in the dash. So that is another thing that people are looking for if you want something that kind of fits and makes it look like it came with the car, the steering wheel mounts are the way to go. We have said that many times in our video. The graphics quality is amazing on this one. The UI and everything is very sleek. It is a very minimalist UI. And when you ride it, you see that it kind of almost feels like it came from a Tesla just because of how good the graphics are on this unit. Uh, the, you get all the features, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So you can download things like Waze, Google Map, a better route planner, all of that is included on this unit. You also get front camera. So if you wanna include a front camera where you mount that camera in the front bumper and you wanna see any blind spot on the front, this also offers that. And it also comes with OTA upgrade just like Tesla. So over the air upgrade and we had seen that. One thing that it came with in the beginning was just a regular blind spot monitoring system. So just like a Tesla, when you put your blinker and if there's a car in the blind spot, then it would flash red. But what we wanted, the viewers wanted, was that we wanted to see a blind spot indication before we put that blinker. So if there is a car in the blind spot, just show it. Live blind spot indication here. And they incorporated that just with the over-the-air software upgrade. And it works really well where if you're driving and if there is a car in the blind spot, it shows that there is a yellow blind spot warning. And if you put a flasher, blinker, then it is start flashing red, letting you know there is a car in their blind spot. So they incorporated that through the OTA upgrade. It is not a OTA gimmick. We have had multiple OTA upgrades on this system to improve the feature. So that also gives me confidence about future features and integration with this unit. So overall, it is a value pick because it looks OEM. It has all the features that we have requested. It comes with OTA upgrade. The graphics are very sleek. And that brings me to some of the negative of this. If you have a Model Y, their Model Y car unit kind of looks very cartoonish. And we have told them many times in the past, hopefully this video they're gonna watch and finally that is their last straw. Hopefully they fix that. It should be a very easy fix for them. I don't know why they haven't done that. The Model 3 graphics is amazing. The Model Y graphics just looks a little cartoonish. Other than that, the features are really great. Another thing you lose with this is some airflow. So if you like just having that direct airflow to your face, uh, they don't have any air vents built in, so it sits on the airflow path. But because this unit is adjustable, so you can adjust it with the steering wheel panel, if you become a little bit creative with the airflow split as well as the height, you may not notice it a lot. And we did a detailed airflow testing. I'm gonna put a link down below for this unit when we reviewed it, where we showed you all the airflow testing of how much airflow it actually blocks. This is also compatible for the Model 3 Highland. So the 2024 Model 3 Highland, that also gives it one more competitive edge. Now to tackle the airflow problem of this F88 system, they actually released a unit with air vent. And this is that unit. So this is the F88 unit. So this is exactly the same unit. It comes with exactly the same features, no difference in features, all the graphics and everything very slick looking. You get all the, all the same features, right? Front camera, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, everything, but this actually come with air vent integration. So this actually mounts on the dash panel where if you look at it here, the airflow goes through and then it comes out from the front. So 
comes out right here and you don't lose as much airflow compared to this unit. There is hardly any airflow blockage and it comes through right here. But because it comes from here, if you look at it, it doesn't look very OEM because you can see a visible air vent and I think they just need to do a better job at designing the hardware so it looks more of an OEM unit. But if you don't care about that and if you want something that is mounted on the dash itself in the front, then this is an excellent unit because it is the overall value pick of all the features and the screen just with the added benefit of having a air, additional airflow. So you don't lose as much airflow. That's the only thing this adds is that airflow as well as this mounts on this actual dash not on the steering wheel panel other than that it is exactly the same as the f unit and when you are ordering it you can choose between these two is the same ordering page you just go and choose which one you want but also the disadvantage of this is this is not compatible for the 2024 tesla model 3 highland uh, because the front dash is different than the regular Tesla Model 3 or Model Y. And finally, on the fixed mounted system, we have got this T9 unit from Tesla C. This is a 9.66 unit and likely the best quality graphics we have seen and UI on any displays that we have reviewed so far. So slick looking UI, really high quality graphics. This also comes with all the good features that we talked about earlier. That includes Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, so you can download things like Waze and just have all of those apps with you. Uh, it also comes with front bumper camera and it allows you to customize some of the UI options. Very slick looking UI. This mounts on the dash, which makes it less of a OEM unit uh, just because it kind of sticks to the dash. And that is where there are a couple of downside to this. One, it doesn't have any air vents. So you are going to see airflow blockage on this. It is minimal and we have shown you a detailed video down in the description below uh, that shows how much airflow blockage you are gonna see with this unit. Again, very minimal, but still you are gonna see the airflow blockage. And because this mounts on the dash, it just makes it a less of an OEM unit. It just has this stick here that slides in which also is another weak point for this is this, this mount is a little bit flimsy in my opinion. It does a good job, but over time, this has a tendency to slide just because they try to make this easier to install in the dash, but also they didn't put any screws from the bottom to hold this strongly. So as you see, like I was able to just pop this out just using that. So it is a little bit of a downside in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, it makes the installation easier. Overall, this is a really nice unit. We have never seen such high quality graphics and slick features. It also comes with the live blind spot detection system we talked about earlier, where if there's a car in the blind spot, it actually shows a yellow and then red or gray. So it just shows all of that information kind of matches with the Tesla. Now, if you don't care about the front camera or a fixed mounted system and you don't want to do all the work and looking for an easy solution where you can just see the critical car information directly in your view, then we have got two portable display option for you. This you can just use cell phone, download an app, install a unit on your car and you're good to go. There is no wire routing of any sort to the front and you can just remove your phone from the front mount and just take it. That is your portable instrument cluster display. There are two companies that are leader in this space. One is Teslogic and another one is Enhanced with their Sexy Commander and Sexy Nub. Both the Teslogic unit as well as the Enhanced Sexy Commander has pretty much the same features when it comes to instrument cluster displays. So with Teslogic unit, what you do is you get a little adapter and you plug it into either the front of your car on the side panel or the rear OBD unit on the rear side. And then you just connect that and then you fire up the Teslogic app and you're good to go. You have a really sleek looking instrument cluster display just in front of you on your phone. You don't need any type of wiring. With this unit, you can see all kinds of Tesla information. So you can see the battery degradation, you can see the live curve, you can see what is using up your battery, you can see so many different things like battery temperature. And what you also see is the regular stuff like your speed, your turn signal, your autopilot indicator. You can see all of that and you also see the live blind spot detection system. So if there is a car in your blind spot now, you automatically see that as a yellow indicator. And then if you put your flasher, then it turns red. And Teslogic is one of those companies that keep upgrading their system over time through software upgrade. So even if you had a V1 unit from many years ago, they're still getting the update, just like Tesla. 
you can't say the same about this fixed mounted system coming from some companies that are not pushing upgrade as much, but they try to give new units every now and then as like, oh, this is upgrade rather than upgrading their existing system. So on the portable system, you do get that benefit of getting constant upgrade. Next on the portable world is the Enhances Sexy Commander. So if you get this commander from Enhance, you can get a sexy nub, you can get sexy buns, and they have so many different options where you can just press a button and control your seat. Um, there's just hundreds of options and we have done uh, detailed step-by-step -step installation guide as well as review, which we are gonna link down below, that you can just control your car entirely from this nub and the sexy bun. Sexy nub and bonds are likely our best favorite accessories we have ever reviewed on the channel because they're so fun, they're easy to program, anybody could program and you can control so many different things. And they just told me that they're coming up with another software upgrade, they're gearing up to launch another software upgrade here shortly. So we're likely going to make a follow-up video on that upgrade. And this is enhances another company just like Teslogic, they keep pushing upgrade. So even if you had their hardware from many years ago, you're gonna continue to get upgrade over time. They add so many different, a massive upgrade. I'm talking about, you know, 50 plus features that they add on each upgrade, which is really amazing. They keep upgrading it and making it new, just like Tesla. But on their instrument cluster display, so it's a portable instrument cluster display, you fire up, uh, all you need is a commander that you can connect to the rear of your car or the front of your car. It's a Bluetooth module you just plug in and that is it. Then you fire up your app and you get the instrument cluster display where you can see all the critical car information directly on your view like autopilot, the trunk signal, the speed, all of that information in your view and you can customize what display you want. They have different options. They also have buttons where you can press and precondition your car and whatnot directly from the screen. And recently, through their software upgrade a few months ago, they added the live blind spot monitoring system. So if there is a car in your blind spot without putting your blinker, now you're able to see it in yellow that there is a car and then if you put your blinker, then it gives you red flashing. So they added that feature as well. So even if you don't want to get the buttons or the nub and if you just want the instrument cluster display, you can just buy the commander from them and hook up your phone and you have the instrument cluster display option for them. So for installation of these units, they generally follow the same process and all the fixed mounted system we're gonna talk about here connect to the front OBD port. So you're gonna to have to remove that side panel on the front foot well, plug it into the OBD connector, the 12 volt connector, and then you're gonna route this all the way to the dash. So regardless of which one fixed mounted system we're talking about, you're gonna to have to do that. For the portable unit, uh, you have two options. One is on the front, the same panel that you reach there and then connect it, but instead of routing all that cable to the front, you don't route anything, you just plug in an adapter and that's it. Uh, you may also be able to use the rear OBD plug, which is underneath the central console area and just plug in that adapter. So the portable ones are a lot easier, uh, but they generally follow the same protocol where you need to connect to the car using the OBD port and you're gonna have to power whatever you are using, using the 12 volt power. So in summary for the fixed mounted system, this is the T9, 9.66 unit from Tesla C. The benefit of unit is the amazing graphic quality, UI, OTA, all the features that it comes with. But on the downside, it does block a little bit of airflow. Doesn't look as OEM as a steering wheel mounted system. And I'm not so sure about the mounting option for this one. Other than that, a very solid choice, highly recommended. This was the air vent unit. This is the F88 from Test Studio. And it has all the amazing features. Uh, doesn't have as crisp, high quality graphics like the T9 from Tesla C, but comes with really good quality graphics, slick looking UI, comes with OTA, all the amazing features. And you get this air vent, but because it mounts on the steering wheel panel and it has that extra air vent, doesn't look as OEM. So there is some compromise on if you want the air vent, or if you want the more of a OEM looking unit. So that is the F88 with air vent. Finally, if you're looking for a OEM looking unit that mounts on the steering wheel panel, does block a little bit of airflow, but it is adjustable, not as much airflow blockage as the dash mounted unit, comes with slick design and UI and all the features that you're looking for, then this is, again, our overall value pick is the Tesla Studios F88 unit.
On the portable side, I think both companies do an excellent job at integrating upgrades and they are both very good looking displays just because you're using your phone as a display. So the quality is always going to be crisp and amazing. Uh, but also the biggest downside is you don't get an actual fixed mounted unit. So you have to fire up your phone and app every single time. So there is that plus and minuses to this. I will say that though, uh, in the last couple of years of having both the fixed mounter system and the portable system such as Teslogics and Enhances is that the folks on Teslogic or Enhance are really quick about fixing any issues caused by Tesla software upgrades. So if the software upgrade on the Tesla causes any issues on the OBD port and then now all of a sudden you're not getting the same information you used to get, uh, Teslogic as well as Enhance is really quick and they go into the development mode. They have full developers in their team, engineers that are working on this and constantly looking at it and upgrading it. So customer service is a high priority for them versus you may not get the same results on the fixed mounter system because sometimes it takes weeks, even months, and we still don't have a fix for some of the items that were broken by the Tesla software upgrade. So just my honest opinion, right? I'm not trying to upsell or downsell anyone or discourage anyone or talk negative about any companies. It's just on the fixed mounter system. We haven't had the same amount of luck and that quick, fast responses compared to the portable system. And I just wanted to be honest about it here. So that concludes today's video. I've showed you everything that you need to know about our top five choices for instrument cluster displays. Now I wanna know your feedback, your likes, your dislikes about any of this product. If you have interacted with these companies, your customer service feedback, please let me know in the comment section below. Or if you want to add features to this uh, products and you would like to request it from the manufacturers, please drop those in the comment section below as well. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you found today's video helpful and if you are already not a subscriber to the channel, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and please come back again soon for another Tesla accessory video.